Why did I just consume him? What? What is that about? Hey, Lutraria and Fusius. My name is James and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack. So today I feel so refreshed. Episode 9 featured a very tired version of myself. And I'll be honest with you guys, I actually have to edit out a 10 minute clip where I figure out how the word Aerolite is spelled. And that it makes aero spec armor because I was so tired while recording it, my brain just couldn't connect the dots. And my god, it was a very hard edit. But I feel so good today. I had such a lovely night sleeping. And I just feel full of life. So because I'm full of life and because my cactuses are full of life, we're going to defeat a boss today. That's right. I'm going to pledge myself to defeating at least one. So let's see what is next in the fiery line. So... Crabulon. We're getting it out the way today. So I actually did find a glowing mushroom biome. It took way longer than you'd expect. It actually took forever. So I've got that. And then I also want to try Vinerath Bane again. I looked around again for this thing called the one shot and I couldn't find it. So I also can't find a Wikipedia page for this boss. So if you guys could let me know if any of you have played the split mod, please leave a comment down below on how to get this item here. Or how this thing even works. And then, you know what? If I get time, I might do Hive Mine. I might do. I have actually got another summoning device for the Vinerath Bane. So I do want to check that out. Because we made that new armor yesterday. And we upgraded a bunch of stuff. So the character is better itself. And I feel like we're going to be alright because of that. So the first thing I want to make is a Decapa... Uh, what's it called? It's called a Decapa Uh Yeah. Uh, Decapa... Okay. Why can I not make this? Glowing. Yeah, okay. So, glowing mushrooms. I'm just going to take this out and just make it myself. <laughs> Maybe. One sec. Have I got. Oh, uh, I know what I've done. I've got this set to weapons. See, these are the dumb mistakes I constantly make with this mod because. Oh, I'm so old fashioned when it comes to Terraria. I play, I've been playing Terraria for too long. So, like, mods like this scare the hell out of me. I'm an old man. Well, not really. Well, Cloffy is quite old, but I'm not him. So, I want to make this thing. It's called the Golden Hatchet. I saw this a while ago, but I've been meaning to make it because it's actually like a boomerang, I'm guessing, because it's on a chain and it stacks up to three. So, I want to make three. So, that's definitely something I want to make because I was just, like, looking on here and I was like, what weapons can we make? And there are some good ones. Like, there are some things called Bamboo Arrows. Uh, grenades. I kind of like how it organizes all of it together. So these are barred weapons. Uh, some of these are like magic and stuff. Very cool. But yeah, that's that's probably what we're going to make today. And we'll leave it at that. So let's actually test this out. So golden hatchet. How are we doing? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. It looks quirky. I'm not going to lie. The fact that they kind of drag for a while is a little bit annoying. But that's kind of cool. I could really do with some uh, some straw. Because if I had some straw, then I could make myself a test dummy and we could test it out. But I guess we test it in real life today on some enemies. Actually, let's set our spawn point back. Right, so let's buy buffs. We're going to need them. Because we're going to do the Krabulon first, the Krabulon fight first. And then we're going to do the other one, which is the Vinerath Bane. So I want to get all the potions I can to actually help me out here. So... This is one thing I haven't done yet. I haven't actually taken a look at some of these other potions that you can actually get. So, hmm. Now, the trick is not going for ones that are just insane in reality. Like, I want to go for ones that are fun to look at, like visually interesting. But I don't want ones that are like, you never take damage. But, you know, with a silver tongue, bought items will be cheaper. That's pretty overpowered, but I think that could be pretty good. Uh, grants uninhibited water movement. Very nice. Increases melee, firing, casting, throwing, playing, and healing speed by 8%. That's kind of cool. So there are a lot. Let's check uh, some of these more potions. Nope. Uh, let's check these. Nope. Uh, any in these? Oh, there is. Grants immunity to fall damage. Gives off high amount of light. Increases damage by 5%. Gives extra defense if you're low on health. Ninja focus. Cool. So some of these are really interesting, but I'm sure you guys would probably agree. They seem a little bit overpowered. I do want to check out this one, though, because this one seems quite interesting. Back in the day, um, 
this is going to be really oddly specific and it only if you've ever played team fortress 2 you might know what this is if you haven't it don't matter because it's it's an old game mode anyway there used to be a game mode in team fortress 2 there probably still is it's called man versus machine and it's essentially like a wave based game where you fight waves of enemies uh enemies that are robots or something like that i can't remember it's been a long time but between rounds you can actually use some of the uh scrap that you've picked up to actually uh to upgrade certain elements and it was always a running joke between me and uh, an old friend of mine his name is waffles he actually made terraria artwork so you do know who he is um but we used to increase jump height and nothing but so when i saw that potion for jump height that's what it reminded me of oh very nice i don't know how powerful those usually are so oh that's kind of cool actually i think this could work i might actually try this against Krabulon, but that's why i had to get jump height so i'm going to test it out okay this is for waffles <laughs> that is a bit mad, isn't it? <laughs> that is a right bounce. <laughs> okay, down we go. I've got my mount to fall faster, guys. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> oh, so I built two. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually gather any of this because I was like, oh, I'm in, I'm imbued with pain. Not nice. Yeah, I didn't actually gather any of this because I just kind of left it all. Because the reason why is because I needed. A, I needed a tunnel essentially and I needed one for this fight but a problem as well was that my other tunnel that I started working on well I couldn't actually carry on using it because there was ice water in the way and because the ice water was so powerful at drowning me I had to make another tunnel anyway it's so boring <laughs> boring little segment okay uh, I need to drain out some of this water because obviously uh, this is this is just way too much so Let's get out of here. We're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain out this section here. I started building little arenas and stuff like that just so we can, uh, yeah, just so we can kind of like at least. Oh man, I'm not even. I'm not even going to be able to drain this. There's so much water here. Yeah, I built little arenas. I built one for the hive mind. I built one for the vine wrath bane and one for this area here. Are those diamonds? Are those diamonds really? Oh, the sapphires. Oh man, the color of sapphires. Oh, it feels different. No way. Is that another glowing mushroom biome? What? I spent ages finding one. And then, you know, you find one and then that's it. All right, I'm going to dig down here. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down here and I'm going to drain this area out. So I'm going to do a little jump cut to see you guys uh, don't get bored of seeing me mine. <laughs> Even though some of you found that oddly satisfying yesterday and I really appreciate that. I like it when you guys embrace different styles of episodes. Yeah, I'm going to drain all this and then we'll uh, we'll do the fight. You know what? Now that I think about it, <laughs> there's no point draining that mushroom biome that we previously had because this one looks way better. So I found these little blue rocks, right? These ones on the floor and I didn't actually collect them. I wanted to see what they are with you guys. I didn't want to ruin it for myself. So I'm going to show you what they are in a second and we're going to see what they are. I, for, at the minute, I, I'm beginning to think... Based on previous history with the mod pack, I'm going to guess it's part of that mod that allows you to make like different quirky potions and stuff. I imagine it's going to be a an element of that, but we're going to see. Okay, let's kill off these dudes. And then let's see. Okay, it gives me a gallon slice. Increases your max number of minions for a minute. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really good, actually, when you think about it. If you were playing Summoner right now, you'd be going mad. Oh, it's a weapon altar. Oh, oh, that's actually a, oh, this is a good opportunity. Oh man, what do we use? I kind of want to, I want to use one of these, but obviously they stack, so you can't really do anything about it. So what do we place on here? I'm going to, I'm going to use the eater. Your weapon shatters. No. Oh, rest in peace, eater. Oh, you will be missed. God, that's actually a real shame. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gutted. Right, I'm going to need to uh, to actually mine these trees because I haven't got any wood on me. I deposited it all back at the house and I haven't got any uh, <laughs> any stuff for platforms. So I'm just going to make some mushroom platforms. Wait, can you make mushroom platforms? Surely you can make mushroom platforms, right? Is that not a thing? Am I being, am I being strange? Is that not a thing? Okay, it's probably it's, pro it's got to be a thing, but I'm I'm not going to be bothered with actually uh, finding it. So we're going to buff up. 
We're going to get ready. Uh, and then... Here we go. Crabulon. Finally. So we have outmatched this, uh, technically. But considering we're not using anything uh, too interesting, this might be a pretty uh, good fight. And especially because I've got to stay close to it as well. Because I haven't brought any... Um, any other kind of items with me? Well, I bought a bro. A, a bro. <laughs> I, I brought my bros to help me out. They're my cactus bros. No, I, I brought a bow. Too many bees there. Brought a bow. That's only two. Okay, disappointing. Yeah, I I, I got a bow with me. <laughs> and we'll use that. Oh, God. Full of life, but still unable to talk. That's the real classic chippy. Yeah, I really like this item. It's quirky. I mean, you don't get too many items that are kind of flails that kind of just stick out for a while. Oh, wait. I've just realized what these are. They're yo-yos, aren't they? They're really yo-yos. That's why I like them. They're hatchet yo-yos. That's cool. Okay. I'm winging this fight, admittedly. And hopefully I won't die overall. But we're halfway through. Maybe I will use this for a little bit. Maybe get a debuff on it. I don't know if it's one of those enemies that can be debuffed or not. But I'm going to stay back a little bit more. Okay, the health's getting quite low, so I've kind of got to take it a little bit more seriously. I'm going to use some of these throwing things as well. These uh, these spears, these javelins, since we got them for free. We never used them, so... Oh, okay. Well, he's getting faster. I don't think he's uh, appreciating all these attacks that I'm doing. Okay. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Come on, this happened with Python. Don't leave. <laughs> oh, come on now, Krabulon. No, no, come back. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but when I was uh, playing with Python in one of my series that we did together, uh, this happened, and it, it just left. It was just like, bye, peace out, dude. Okay. Oh, come on. Stop peacing out. Okay, the music for this is so good. I'm so close to death. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Nice. I'm glad to get that out of the way. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Man, it feels good to, uh, yeah, just to get that done. So what's this then? This makes a chitrin hook. Ooh, very nice. I like this because it's kind of like, the, I get a lot of things that you can just stick in a chest. You stick them in a chest and you come back like way later and they, they make something good. But like not immediately. And I feel like that's a lot of the stuff in this mod pack and I kind of like that. All right, let's uh, get rid of these blank glyphs and all this stuff, and let's open this up. So we got the fungicide, which is a, uh, a gun. Oh, there's that enemy. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, God. I thought that, that there's an enemy that, like, hooks onto you, and I thought that's what we had. I think it's the hands. I won't really pay too much attention. All right, we got the uh, fungicide. Can't shoot it, though, unfortunately. We got the micro, micro, micro root. Yeah, this is cool. It's good for like a quick like two minute little showcase, but I wouldn't use it all the time. It's like a throwing weapon that essentially just has a, a, a set range to it. <clears throat> We've got the mycelial claws. Oh, very nice. Looking like Mr. Krabs. And then the... I don't know what this is. I don't know the name of it. I don't know if I can pronounce it. Maybe you guys can. Maybe you... <laughs> it's probably like a type of mushroom that's like dead common that I've just... Uh, I've been blissfully unaware of. Okay. All right. So let's put this inside of here. So all of this stuff. We got the fungal clump, which is going to replace the cactuses for today. Because I'm a big fan of the fungal clump and they help out a lot. So let's put some of this other stuff away. Let's open up that. And okay. So nothing we're going to use right now, but I am going to speak to this NPC and I'm going to buy some archery because I didn't buy those before and some hunter. And then if I had a merchant here, which I don't, I would have got a, uh, a bunch of arrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the merchant here. I should really keep all the NPCs here that I actually need, to be honest. So <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I've got a sore throat. Uh, oh, I remember you. Are you from Thorium? Question mark? Probably from Forium. Oh, we're getting lots of these uh, kooky enemies now, aren't we? Yeah, I remember this dude. <laughs> okay, come on then, dude. Let's see how we do against you. At least it's not like the one from yesterday that just kind of like... Is just insane. Okay. He's got a thousand health, though. That is quite a bit for an enemy. 
Ooh, what do we get? We got two books. We got the the Grave Buster. We got the Plague Yo-Yo. Whoa! Why did that shoot out? Is that something that always happens? I'm very confused. So we got that. We also got these two. <clears throat> so one's called the Grave Buster. Ooh, very nice. Let's see how good it is, though. It's not bad. And then we also got the good book. Uh, not so good. <laughs> it's the good book that's not so good. Right, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to wait until night ends. I'm obviously going to go get myself a drink, because quite clearly I'm, I'm not lasting very long without needing to uh, clear my throat. And then in a minute, we'll uh, we'll go do uh, the Vine Wrath Bane. And hopefully it'll be awesome, because I'm kind of looking forward to uh, a good fight. Especially after the first time where we lost. Oh, uh, this is why I love Fungal Clump. It's so good. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so I know I said I'd be right back, and then I'd go do Vine Wrath Bane. But I'm going to check this out because I can't remember out about this biome because it's been so long since I did, um, well, since I did Forium. So we're checking this out and if I can mime stuff in here, I don't know if I can genuinely, but if I can, we're going to do a side mission today. So I imagine like main quest is boss. We're going to do a side quest. Oh, we can. All right. The side quest is making a gun. So I was, I, I noticed that the arms dealer was selling the illegal gun parts and I was like, that's got to make something good. In, in one of these mods, the illegal gun parts are going to make something interesting. So I checked it out and it makes a, uh, there's actually a like biome exclusive gun for this biome and you need aquite and you also need depth cells or depth scales. So basically drops from these enemies down here. And if I get these, there you go. No, <laughs> that's not what I needed at all. But I need something like that. Oh, that's gold. Oh wow. Okay. God, I remember going through here for the first time. It was uh scary. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I'll get some. I don't know which enemies drop which. There you go. That's what I need. Depth scales. Yeah, I want to make a gun, because I haven't made a gun in Terraria in a long time. Like, when you think about it, when was the last time I made a gun? Ages ago. So here it is. It uses four and eight. So how many do you need to make these bars? You need five, so I'd need 20. So 20 and four depth scales. Okay. Well, I've got 40 and three, so I'm doing all right. So I didn't know when to actually check this biome out. So it's one of the things, like, when you're not looking at how progression works, because obviously when you play Forium, you know that, all right, I'm going to beat a boss and then I go do this. But when you're, like, playing loads of different mods, you never know when to go anywhere. So I wasn't exactly sure when to come here, and I'm, I'm guessing literally right now is probably the best time. So this is a cool side quest. That looks like a diamond-encrusted plan. It gives you a water chestnut and a pearl. Ooh, that's cool. Very nice. I don't remember pearls when I last played. Maybe they weren't in. God. <laughs> Terraria mods are updating faster than Terraria, and that's that's really cool to see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Depth scale. Seven. Right. So, I think that might be everything I want to grab from here, honestly. I might open up this chest to see what's in it, just for curiosity's sake. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with what I've got here today. Let's use this a bit longer. I tried to reforge this. It doesn't work. You can't reforge it, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, let's let's kill off that dude. Oh, 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 man of war, man of war. Okay. Fungal clump, can you get in there, mate, and do some? <laughs> I'm just waiting to kill this man of war. There we go. Okay, fungal clump, do your thing. What's in here? A rainstone. Uses 20 mana. It's said that the strange stone was torn from an entity that could control the seas. Activates or cancels a rainstorm. What? That is ace. God. <laughs> that's actually a really good accessory, considering I absolutely hate rain in Terraria. I guess that's not something I talk about very often, but I hate rain in Terraria. The more you know. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see, what was this gun even called? Uh, Aquite. 
Acolyte bars, and then the gun. Is it this one? The hydro cannon? No. Oh, it's this one. The shark storm. So I've got to remember that. Shark storm and aquite. Okay, deposit all. So I'll make my aquite first. Here we go. Okay, and then shark storm. Here we go. Nine range damage. We get it. And it still says nine. So let's see then. I don't have a... Oh, I do. And I'm still up here. There we go. I should have remembered that because I literally just bought some illegal gun parts. Okay, we'll make... Yeah, we'll, we'll buy a thousand. A thousand bullets. Sounds about right. Okay. Let's give it a go. It's a mini shark. <laughs> it's a mini shark, isn't it? Let's give it a reforge and we'll see if that can uh, maybe help us out. So naught, do your job. Nope. <laughs> it costs too much to reforge. Sure it does. Okay. So let's go get our game on. Let's let's go kill this dude. Are any of these NPCs changing at all? I don't actually know. I should probably keep a tab on some of these NPCs. Like, you just sell that. What do you sell? Oh, God, it's the same NPC. Jimmy, what do you sell? Molotov cocktail. God, remember when these were the bomb? Like, everyone used to use them for speed running. Uh, shine my shoes. And then you sell different types of boots. You sell water walking boots? Oh, I'll have to remember that for some point. Cool. And we actually just got a little buff there by uh, get, by getting that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did I just consume him? What? What is that about? <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even know you could do that. What? <laughs> that is so bizarre. Oh my god. So what's it do? Just literally just like place it down? Is that what all it does? Oh, that's so strange. Where's my triad gone? She's gone. Where is she gone? Oh. Okay. Well, let's go speak to the confused zombie. I can't believe that. That's actually blown my mind. Right. Ooh. You sell some interesting stuff. You sell the good book. Well, it's not very good. Obviously, it's because it's for a healer class. All right, okay. We got a big giant gun. We got a bows. We got a ratchets or hatchets. I I, I think ratchet sounds better. I, I, I was always a big fan of ratchet and clank as a kid. So there's my justification. Okay, right. Away we go. Oh my god, my absolute jump height is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I feel so powerful. God, I'm going to kidnap a cloth here, and I'm going to keep him in my inventory forever. That's that's my goal. That's that's the series goal right there. <laughs> I want to kidnap a James the cloth here. <laughs> I didn't realize it had a name or not in the the item. Oh, God, if I could kidnap a James the cloth here, I'd be so over the moon. For real. It, it would make my day. Oh, man. Okay. Wow, let's go. God, oh, I can't even. I couldn't even. Oh my god, my throat. I couldn't even control that. Huh, man. Let's wing our wing our way there. God, the uh, the movement speed just feels so. I don't know. It just feels interesting. It feels fast. Okay. All right. Here's where we are. Anyway, this is where we're going. So, thankfully, we're almost there. Here it is. We're in the Reach Bioma. Okay, we got extra jump height. We got everything. We got ratchets. We got uh, fungal clump. All right, we're not dying this time, guys. I'm not taking it into a cave. We're going to fight it. Like the absolute bosses we are. Okay. Fungal clump probably doing the majority of the damage. That's fine. Okay. Right, let's, uh, you know what? As much as I love Fungal Clump, I want this fight to be about me and not the Fungal Clump. So I'm going to get rid of it and see how this bullet actually does. I couldn't exactly tell because obviously when uh, when recording and stuff, you don't fully uh, engage in what's going on. So, <laughs> although you should be doing, you don't. So I couldn't tell what was what then. Okay, so hopefully a Cactus Bro will eventually come out and help. Huh. Okay, Ratchet's rod's not that great. 
We have got archery potions, so I should be using them, really. Okay, but this is pretty good. Uh, okay. I wish boss health bar worked for this boss. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Unless I've not even got it turned on. Have I had it turned on this whole series? I probably have. Or I haven't. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know. Oh, so I've been playing a lot of Fortnite recently. I went so off Fortnite for a long time. Because I'm not very good at it. I haven't playing so much recently. I just wanted to announce that. It's been, uh, it's been hurting my productivity for sure. Because I'm enjoying it so much. It's not something I'm interested in making videos on like. But uh... It's been fun. I keep ringing up uh, Python and asking him if he wants to play. <laughs> okay. Kill this little last little flower. Now the fight begins. Do you know what? Even though we did this the other day, I actually completely forgot that there was a second part to this fight. This is obviously why boss health bar wasn't working. Alright, let's kill off these flowers because they're super annoying. Let's use the ratchets. That's it, ratchets. Do your job. Come on, mess them up, Ratchets. Okay, Ratchets are not that great right here. But it's okay. Yeah, this is doing great, honestly. I love the little skeleton. I said this during the first time I fought this, but I love the skeleton that pops out of its head. The Bramble shall consume you. God, oh, Brambles, man. I don't think I've had Brambles in a long time. Or Blackberries. Is it called Blackberries from a Bramble bush? been a long time since I uh, Englished. Okay. Got a treasure bag. Boom. Open that up. So, Bramble Daggers. Ooh, okay. We also got some, uh, a root pod. Ripe for the picking. It's a material. We got a Briar Blossom. Press a hotkey to rapidly grow homing nature around your cursed position. I would actually activate this right now, but there's a bit of a glitch I get whenever I set a hotkey. I seem to just break the game. So I'm not going to do that, unfortunately, because I don't want to break the game because it's been a smashing episode. And uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin it. So I've got a little bit of an announcement. I, ha I haven't said this yet, but it's something I've got to address soon enough. So it's currently the 14th of May, right? This is when this episode is going up. Now, in 10 days, I'm off on a trip that's going to last five days. I would tell you where I'm going, but I can't because it's a surprise for my girlfriend's birthday. So I'm not going to tell you where I'm going just yet. I'll tell you in a few days when she finds out on her birthday. But uh, that does mean I've got to pre-record five episodes soon-ish. Now, I just want to warn you all now, pre-recording episodes is a bit of a strain. So I just want to let you guys know that if around the time of the 24th, you don't get as much content for that week... Uh, it's just because I'm away, so uh, I probably won't take any form of like recording equipment with me. I've done that in the past when I've gone on holidays and stuff, and it's always been a bit of a, uh, a burden. So I'm going to leave everything at home and go on this awesome trip. It's going to be the best trip I've ever had in my life, and I will tell you about where I'm going and stuff uh, soon enough. I'll tell you in a couple of days on the uh, on the episodes, but yeah. Right, okay, I'm going to end it there, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Also... Before I end. Uh, to all the people lurking around, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. Click that subscribe button. I check my analytics. I know that so many of the people that watch these episodes are unsubscribed. Click on that button, get notified, and you'll have a Terraria video in your inbox almost every day, or pretty much every day. Right, have a great day everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.